What is up, uh, YouTube? Fucking cold morning. I'm in shorts. It's not a rookie mistake wearing shorts because it should get sunny later on. It's only 8 o'clock in the morning. I've just realized that my hair now is starting to look like a fucking BG. I'm starting to look like a BG. Maybe it's time for a haircut. Maybe it's time for a fucking Corona haircut. I haven't had a fucking... I haven't had a haircut. I haven't had a haircut since the wedding. All right, we're heading down to Mandra. We're heading down to Mandra, and of course I need to get fucking petrol. So we're gonna go get petrol. We're going down to Mandra. Um, the thrift store's open in 20 minutes. It's gonna take me about 50 minutes to get there, but that's okay. So let's do this. Let's do it. Let's go thrifting. Come on. It's right along, baby. Wow. Come ride with me, let's thrift, let's thrift all day. When you go down to Upshop Town, don't have a dog shit day. So ride with me, let's thrift, let's thrift away. I'm taking all the, I'm taking the back way. Man, I miss this place. So many mullets. It's only fucking, it's only quarter past nine in the morning. There's fucking so many people with mullets walking around. It's fucking insane. And I fucking drove too far like a dumb cunt. Let's go to the first op shop, thrift store. Let's find that VHS clamshell. And uh, let's do this. Let's do it, come on. Oh, that one's open. <laughs> Alrighty, here we go. So, the old norms, the old norms, we all go in and we get our little fucking basket. I oh, always got to get the big one now. Got to get the big one now because I uh, realise that uh, when you get a shitload of clothes or jumpers and jackets and all that, they just don't fit in the small one and you're overflowing a little bit. So, always grab the big one now. So, straight to the bed sheets. Uh, bed sheets weren't that great here, unfortunately. And uh, even though I was excited, uh, yeah, I... Uh, I think we're starting off to a bad day now. Uh, the videos, no clamshells, no horror clamshells in all this lot. That was mental as anything uh, video there. Always got to have a look for the videos. Almost Football Legends. Good old footy show when the footy show was good before it turned dog shit. And David Bowie. I already got that David Bowie uh, one. So, um, and there's another footy pack. I don't think I got that uh, in the end. But uh, yeah, there's, there's not many there. Go through the records. Records are, oh man, one day we're going to find a diamond in the rough. There's there's no way that they're always just going to be shit. There's going to be a diamond in the rough. I know a few people have found fucking good ones, so we'll just keep looking. Brady Bunch, I didn't buy that. Would you have brought the Brady Bunch for a dollar? I didn't bother with that. Now look at this, Scrubs. can't remember how much they wanted for this. I think it was 15 bucks. It's the whole lot. It's the whole... Fucking the whole lot of them, but the thing is, there's no covers, they're just in that. Now, to me, that just seemed barley, fake. I don't know if they're meant to be in that, but to me, it just didn't seem right. Probably would have sold for 50 bucks, but I wasn't doing it, I wasn't getting it. Uh, check this out. Fucking, have you ever seen this folder? Now, I'm, I always show you in the show and tells the stuff that I didn't get. Uh, love showing the stuff I didn't get. Would you got these shoppy cards? I left them. Uh, didn't see any value in them. Found some more records. Never. I never give up on the records. I'm always looking for the records. And uh, there's Kamal. There's my buddy. There is my buddy. Loving Kamal. Oh, look at this. Just trying to seduce this chick in the back. Alright, we might get that one. Uh, there was another Kamal one. Went past that one. Alright, so the coffee mugs. Not much here today with the coffee mugs, unfortunately. Uh, 50 cent season. There's a fucking Hannah Montana one before she turned skanky. So uh, we left that one. We left that one. But we did find adult diapers. Adult diapers. Uh, 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 it would have been a bit weird me going up uh, with all these adult diapers. People would have looked at me. But five bucks is pretty good. But uh, I left the adult diapers. Um, they can uh, uh, they can shit themselves uh, in their pants. I'm not going to sell them any diapers. Uh, now we got uh, CDs. I found some CD-ROM games in here. 
CD-ROM games um, and some music CDs. So I've got a fair few CDs. I'll um, definitely uh, maths. No, no one enjoys maths. We don't want a CD-ROM of maths. It might be worth something. I don't know. Uh, well, there was some good stuff in there. Um, there's a Hexen Two. Can't remember what that was worth. Uh, we'll look that up and we'll show you in show and tell. But uh, yeah, there was some good stuff in there. Then I found uh, another area with uh, some more videos, no clamshell horrors. There was a Norman Gunston. Everyone knows the Norman Gunston show. Uh, that was a very good show. Uh, there's another Shoppies, uh, Shoppies, whatever the fuck those fucking cards are. Um, the DVDs were all right, <clears throat> but I didn't, uh, I didn't bother with all these ones. Um, a buck each though. Um, children's books are the best. If you can find the old vintage ones, I found this 1997 Phantom Diary. Uh, really fucking cool, 50 cents. And um, check out this Pagemaster one. Unfortunately, some asshole wrote his name in it, so I didn't buy it. But uh, that's what um, uh, the Home Alone kid was uh, in there. And look at this fucking prick. Just jumps over my basket. Fucking jumps over me basket and pushes him my way, you fucking prick. Alright, oh, I should have brought this. I wish I brought this now for $2. The Eye Master. Remember these Eye Master books? And you fucking stare at it, and then you'll see a picture. Eye tricks. Should have fucking brought it. Never mind. I was still pissed off with that guy that fucking jumped over my stuff. There was heaps of teddies in here. Uh, 50 cents each. Look at that. He's wearing my uh, my aerobics pants that I wore for sure. Those pink aerobics pants out there. I should have brought that. So I had a little looky through the uh, shirts here, and we go through all the clothes. This place wasn't that good. Nice Superman shirt there, though, but uh, not worth five bucks. Uh, nice, uh, authentic uh, Manchester United jersey there. Don't forget to subscribe, everyone, if you haven't subscribed. Or do what the fuck you want. Um, press that bell icon so you can get all the new content that comes out. But uh, what do you think of that uh, Manchester United shirt? We'll go through that and have a nice, deep look at it uh, in show and tell. Um, I didn't get this. This Jimmy Barnes tank top, working class fan. Now, it, it, it did look pretty cool. It did look pretty cool, but it felt sticky. It felt sticky and kind of gross. So I did not bother with that, did not bother with that at all. Uh, you know when uh, those iron-on patches get a little bit sticky? That's, that's the way it felt. Uh, this was cool, this was a Christmas uh, Foo Fighters uh, shirt, but it, um, Seemed pretty fake, so I put that one back. I didn't get this. I don't know too much about soccer. I had no idea what this team was. No idea what this team was, and I didn't know if that was fake or not, so I chucked that one back. Was that a good decision? Would you have done the same? Look at that old footy, old footy jumper, a no-namer, but uh, not bad at all. Now we keep going through all these, and... Uh, it's good fun, go, you, would you fucking believe it? This is a totally different store and we have now found a second Gold Coast Suns jersey. A second Gold Coast Suns jersey. It's a fucking legit one again. There's two now. There's two Gold Coast Suns and I'm not buying it. It can get fuck you, get fucked, get back in there. Bullshit. Uh, so that's the first one. This fucking stupid bitch to just fucking park near me. She parks fucking on a diagonal instead of fucking straight like this. So now fucking where three cars could fucking fit. Bird shit on my window. Uh, where three cars could fit, fucking only hers fits. Selfish son of a bitch. All right, that was good. Um, that was all right. It was nothing special. It was a little bit empty. Uh, let's go to the salvos down the road. All righty, off to the salvos we go. And uh, once again, I've got to grab myself one of those big baskets because I just feel like uh, we've got good luck with these big baskets now. Well, maybe not today. So, uh, closes uh, first on the uh, bat as soon as you walk in the door. And absolutely overpriced. Nice Peel Thunder one there. Now, look at this Peel Thunder. Uh, Peel Thunder. Look at this uh, Pepsi Max uh, Ford racing. Uh, I guess you'd call it a button-up. I don't know what the fuck you would call it. But anyway, it's fucking. I, I love the Pepsi Max symbol on it. Uh, it was just going for a little bit too much. I'm not paying, I'm not paying over $10 for that. Uh, no chance in hell. So, uh, would you have left it for over $10? Or would you have grabbed it? There's another Kamal. 
There's another Kamal. It was one dollar. It was only a dollar. And this is exactly the same one. I can't believe there's another one. And then there's another Kamal. You know what? I think we'll fucking get that one. We'll get that fucking Kamal one. Why not? I've actually got the other one. So we'll go back and double check if I've got that one or not. Nah, I've got that one. We won't bother with that fucking Kamal. So, no diamond in the rough there. Uh, toys? Nah, the toys weren't that great here. Unfortunately. But, um, you know, it is what it is. It's uh, They're just getting started again after all this Corona shit. So, we'll get there. They'll eventually get some good stuff on the shelves. Did find this uh, Powers Bitter. Powers Bitter tray for $3. Never heard of this beer before. But it fucking sells for 30 bucks. So, uh... We'll grab that. So this is actually my fourth thrift trip since uh, everything's been reopened. So, um, so far I've been to two stores and not going too good, but uh, I'm still loving it. There's still one, maybe two more in this area. So we'll check them out. We'll, uh, fingers crossed, um, get some good stuff, but they're independent. Uh, well, the next one's an independent uh, op shop, so. We'll see how we go, but uh, that Salvos was dog shit. Got a couple of things, but um, it was dog shit, so not much stuff there. Let's go to the next one. Alrighty, this next place is absolutely dog shit. I have found some good bed sheets here. I didn't even grab a basket because I already knew that I wasn't going to grab anything. So check out this. It's a knockout. I didn't grab it because I wanted, uh, what they want, five bucks for it or six bucks for it? I only didn't grab it because I just didn't want to count the pieces. Uh, this Cardinals, didn't grab this Cardinals uh, shirt because I couldn't tell if it was fake or if it was real. Uh, Major League Baseball stuff does do okay, but um, that was a female shirt definitely in the men's section. I wasn't 100% sure with that one. Check out this game. I should have brought this. I didn't count the pieces. The Neighbors game. This is from the 80s. Uh, I think they wanted six bucks for that as well. I probably should have grabbed those two games now that I think about it, but um, I didn't, and that's the way it is. And you look back and you go, "Fuck me!" I should have. Uh, not one thing from in there. Last time I picked up some good stuff in there, but uh, some bed sheets and all that shit. But that's pretty fucking bad. All right, I'm gonna try my luck and see if I can find any more thrift stores while I'm uh, in Mandra. Any more that are open? Fingers crossed. Well, I went to two more op shops and they were both fucking closed, not open yet. So that's okay, not a big deal. I still got enough for a show and tell. It's gonna be a short show and tell. Uh, do I deserve to get myself some Maccas or KFC on the way home? Hell no. But I've still got enough and I've still got, a, I've got some more okay stuff for a show and tell. So we'll still do a show and tell. I'll show the, the, the all right stuff that I've got. Uh, it's not going to be as big and massive as I usually fucking uh, have it, so at least it'll be a short one for you. But what is cool is I just, uh, my parents live down this way, so I just visited my parents and uh, I went thrifting through their house and I got some fucking awesome shit that I will show on Show and Tell. Um, I found some 1930 cards, 1930 cigarette cards. Um, Donald Bradman ones and all that so I'm gonna show you some of them on uh, show and tell as well uh, we can get some good money for them if I decide to sell them and I picked up some other cool uh, bits and pieces from uh, my folks house that I didn't realize that I had there as well we'll decide if we're gonna sell that shit or not all right guys don't forget to like subscribe do what the fuck you want it is your life you do whatever you want it was good enough day to get Red Rooster. It was good enough there to get Red Rooster. So that's it from me. I'll see you at Show and Tell Thursday. Like, subscribe. Like I said, do what the fuck you want, man. I'm going to eat this Red Rooster. This is going to be fucking delicious. See you!